know about you, but I feel pretty educated about Leap Day at this point in the show. But you know there's always more to learn, so why not have a little fun while you're at it? So New Day Academy is in session for a bit of Leap Year trivia. My fellow students, Mama Gone Geek and science writer Lynn Brunell, and our own Terry Holloman. But of course we needed a teacher to administer this test, so of course we thought of <laughs> historian Felix Bunnell. So Felix, tell me about some of the questions you're gonna be asking us. Well, it's Leap Day, of course. Yes. And we're in a leap year. So these okay. questions are sort of about Leap Year, Leap Day, but also are Leap Year, Leap Day adjacent. They might be related to the number four. That's Ooh, about wow, all I really want to say. This is a broad yeah. spectrum, Yeah, I wanted it to be saying. fun, I wanted to be educational, I wanted to be, you know, Chance to compete and see who knows the most. Who's okay. the smartest? So we'll just we'll. Who's the we smartest? A, no yeah. pressure. None at all. <laughs> I have about seventy-five <laughs> questions. I think we'll be able to get through all of them in the next like ninety a, minutes or so. Oh, really fun, yeah. oh my god! And if like we don't the know the answer, the answer is yeah. four. So oh we my have, god! We have some terrific prizes. We have a we have what a, a, a little stuffed frog and we have some gummy frogs because mm -hmm. what do frogs do? They leave. Okay, see, that's right. how that's right. how cool. easy this question quiz is going to be. Look at okay. that, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> all right, they all right. We're going to go starting next to me. We're going to start with Lynn. Your first question is: Here we go. Both the Summer and Winter Olympic Games were previously held during leap year, but nowadays this is only true of the Summer Olympics. However, in Summer Olympics history, the most recent games were delayed by a year. Why were they delayed and where were they held? COVID. And they were held... Oh, good question. Um, Anybody? Japan? Correct. Hey. That's good. So one point scored. I was going to say right. it happened on the internet. Yeah, my I Japanese don't know where it happened. American husband will be happy I got that. Very nice. <laughs> nice. All right, so you get, you get the idea of what we're doing here? Yeah, we're doing it. It's important to buy the premise before we get into this. I feel like right. it's one of the word problems in my kids' math program plans. So I'm just going to really listen. <laughs> All right. Math Amity, here's yeah. your question. Fill in the blank. In 46 BC, Roman dictator Julius Blank first mandated adding leap years to the calendar. Caesar? That's correct. Yeah. How many Juliuses are out there? Well, there like, Orange Julius? <laughs> and Julius. Julius Caesar? Like, which one are you going to pick? And all, it's too brute. Uh, uh, and I don't uh, think 46 uh. BC was actually a leap year, which is kind of odd. All right. Huh. All right. So, uh, Terry, know. this question's for you. What is a simple explanation for why there must be an additional day added to the calendar every four years? Were you listening? No. <laughs> I was not listening. At no point through kindergarten through 12. Um, I'm going to say it's because of daylight savings. That's not correct, I'm sorry. I don't yeah, know. No, we're not gonna have a steal. <laughs> Basic premise is the calendar year is 365 days, but the actual length is more like 365 and a quarter days. So every four years you have to add a full day so we don't end up celebrating you know, Halloween in July, for instance. Okay. So everybody out there knew that, right? <laughs> I'm sure you guys knew I mean, that. We, we were watching the show, you know. We're talking about I don't know what it. you were doing backstage. Yeah, we, I'm sneaking into the gummy frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Licking them all? Yeah. <laughs> all right, Lynn, this next question's for you. Mm. Which of these celebrities was born on Leap Day? Ooh. Rapper Ja Rule, motivational speaker Tony Robbins, actor Dennis Farina, or singer Dinah Shore? Lord, it is. I would only have to guess at that. I would say the rapper. That is correct. We, we, we would have accepted any of those because they were all born on the That's a cheating question. I, I lose. I lose. <laughs> This is, is all of the above. Oh, you are. Awesome. All right. This is remedy. This is remedy. Now, kind of a sad question. Oh, 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 oh. sad. Which member of 60s pop group The Monkees died on Leap Day 2012? Was oh. it Mickey Dolenz, Davy Jones, Mike Nesmith, or Peter Tork? Can I just sing the theme song and get a point? No, it didn't work that way. Sorry. All right. Uh, wait, I, I was Mickey Dolenz? Davy Jones? Mickey. Mickey. What's, your, what's your guess? Mickey. She can put I'm sorry, together. that's Did not correct. In fact, Mickey Dolenz is the only monkey who's still alive. Oh, sorry, Mickey. Hey, we get sorry, man. Maybe we can, can we confirm with the King 5 newsroom that Mickey Dolenz is, in fact, still alive? Let's All right. Um, yeah, so it was Davy Jones who sadly passed on this day in oh, 2012. I'm sorry. All right. Okay, uh, no point for you. All right. Uh, <laughs> Got that clear. No He's making that Terry. clear. Andrew, that's no. Terry, here's your question. <laughs> Which of these years did not include a leap day? 2000, 1940, 1920, or 1900? You're just gonna have to throw it. Dart at that. Uh, how, why am I giving you the really difficult one? Because I don't know. Because you pick like, on me, something, Felix. Something. I don't know why you do this these to are me being all randomly, the time. These are being randomly assigned. I, 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 1900. I, I, I don't know. I think you're. That's right. correct. Yeah. 
That's right. You know, what's weird is the rule is that the, if the year is divisible by 100 and not divisible by 400, there's no leap year that year. So there's no leap year in 1700, 1800, or 1900. You obviously knew that. I knew that. I think the square root and the, the quotient of the calendar and <laughs> right. what's the equilateral right. of the yeah. circle. Yeah. And, and daylight yeah. savings had nothing to do with that either. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So we're back to Lynn now. Uh, let's, let's check our points here. Uh, let's see. I think we have, Lynn, you have two? Amity has one and Terry has one. If oh, judges, I mean, if you can concur, that I have the trick. Uh, by right. a little bit. Just the okay. narrowest of margins. <laughs> now, Lynn, in the movie, based on the series of dystopian novels, which begin with a book and film called Divergent, what British actor plays the character named Four? Oh, my God. Um, he was the one it's in... It's not Mickey Dolenz, okay? So don't Mickey guess Dolan's. that. He's not even British. It's not David Jones. It's in, not David uh, Jones. He was, he was, British, so. he was, was in Love British, Actually, sorry. right? He was the little boy in Love Actually, right? I don't think so. No? No. I have no idea. Theo James. I would not Nobody know that. Nobody knows who that guy is. He was a little boy in Lebec. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, wait, was that a leap year movie? I don't recall that. Isn't there an area, a town in the Divergent series called Amity, too? Ooh, Amity. Oh, Amity. Not Amityville. Okay. Not We're, that this one. This is getting too far, too, uh, too far tangential right, for my taste. All right, we probably have time right. for two more questions, and wait, Terry and what? I need a chance okay, to tie all right, it up. All right, all right, here we go. Uh, Amity. Uh, in, the oh, in the movie based on... No, I already did that one. Okay. Fill in the blank. Leap Day 2024 accounts for a highly disproportionate 37% of the confirmed number of weekday blanks that are taking place this week. Marriages? That's correct. Woo! Wow, very good. So you only, you only get to celebrate your anniversary every four years. No, that's well, perfect. You know, that's you got geniuses. All right. All right, uh, Terry, if you're a salaried employee, that is, you're not paid by the hour, approximately what percentage of your annual salary are you donating back to your employer by working for free on Leap Day? <gasps> Percentage wise? What percentage? I'm a salary. Approximately what percentage? I'm leaving 2%. after this. I'm going to give it to you. It's actually 0.4%, but that's close enough. And, and by my math, <laughs> if you work in radio, it means you're giving up about $25. See? Oh, yep. oh. Oh. For, for 60 seconds. Okay. Right. We work only. <laughs> we're, we're tied. Thank hey, you. We're all tied. We're all tied. We get to see. We get to split the frogs. Yay. Frogs for you. Split the frogs. All right. Thank you so much for spending time with us for this very special episode. You can check our website for more of our content. You can always send us an email to share your thoughts. But most important, get out there and enjoy your new Leap Day. And we'll see you next time. Remember to visit your local shelter to adopt a game show host today. <laughs>